We have been concerned with the problem of conductive polymers for over a decade now. Our solutions were in the form of all sorts of liquid anti-static additives. We tried adding carbon black and carbon fiber, but without success. There was constant bleeding and the anti-static properties of our products only lasted for around three to six months. It was very important for us that the product would function effectively for a long time in removing static electricity. We needed solutions for all of our customers. Two years ago, we returned to nanotubes because Oxial had already come up with solutions in the form of binders. Today, we have about 12 to 14 solutions already in place. We have already managed to introduce nanotubes into all of the necessary systems for our customers. We are now releasing our first batches. I think that in 2020, we will start working really hard on a commercial scale. When tubal matrix is added, dielectric polyurethane becomes a complete conductor. Our result is a stable volume resistivity of 10 to the power of 5 to 10 to the power of 6 ohm centimeters. The best indicator that we have already tested during this year is that there is absolutely no bleeding at all. When we added carbon fiber or carbon black, we broke the bonds with these additives. That is, we worsened wear strength, tear resistance, or some other parameters. When tubal matrix is added, the physical and mechanical properties do not deteriorate at all. In some cases, we can see an improvement in physical and mechanical properties by a small percentage of 5 to 10%. It is in strength characteristics in particular where we can see improvements. We add 0.3 to 0.4% of tubal matrix on average. It's not tubal. That is not a pure concentrate. Tubal matrix is, after all, a material diluted with a binder, which is why its costs do not result in large price increases for us. In many projects, we have the same price for both conductive and standard polyurethane. There is no difference at all. This operation is not so complex or labor-intensive that we need to increase the price too much. Train carriage manufacturing is one of the applications in industries for which we have already manufactured and delivered a number of products. These are products such as inserts and adapters. It is necessary to remove static electricity when the train is moving, which is why we make these products conductive. Another area of application is gas transportation. We install spacers and sleeves made of polyurethane with conductive properties, as static electricity removal is very important for safety. Statistic electricity also affects and interferes with the operation of equipment. A high-quality solution that is ready for use today is shafts that we use and install in film and packaging production equipment. The static electricity issue is also crucial here for both people and equipment operation because large amounts of static electricity can accumulate. Another application is pipelinings for grain elevators, transportation and storage. Metal pipes serve only for a very short time. Using metal pipes without a lining for transportation of grain causes high level of grain breakage, which, accordingly, leads to huge losses for farms. By lining the pipe with ordinary polyurethane, it breaks the circuits, and thus a large amount of static electricity accumulates, which leads to pipe clogging. That is why it is necessary to use polyurethane with conductive properties. A very pressing issue is wheels for hand trucks and medical equipment. We have figured out, so to speak, the most popular and most promising niches. We have introduced our products there and developed them further during 2019. We believe that this will be enough for us to become the leader in these niche industries.